I'll put a little oil in my fry pan. The only thing I have on the shrimp is a little bit of salt. You could add some black pepper. I think I'm just going to put black pepper on it. ultimate secret this is the real ingredient like the secret to good delicious tasty flavorful fried rice um, ginger I grate my ginger most of the time and add what I like about cooking um, that does that apply to baking most of the time is you can do it whichever way that fancies you so far as you you know the most important thing is the ingredients and knowing like where to put certain things that you know the taste and flavor won't be compromised otherwise you can just do it anyway I, I do most of the time I'm just going to add my eggs in here you see I put the shrimp aside you know Making less dishes, less work for myself. It's still the same. Uh, as we say uh, in one of our proverbs, so it's still the same. I choose to do it this way most of the time. Okay. So we continue. I'll throw in my onion and bell pepper. Send it. I just grated it this time around. I normally do that if you've observed. I think beautifully. In goes the rice, which I boiled in um, chicken chicken stock. Um, in the pan drippings. Normally, that's this is what I do. When I bake a chicken, um, I put a like a baking sheet under the rack to, to catch the drippings, and I save that to cook my rice. So that gives it the color. I really don't put soy sauce most of the time. It's just the pan drippings that gives this color. this in the longest time so I 
how to remember how to do anything. Anyway, I hope it still helps somebody. How beautiful can it be? Just tell me. This is and you should just be able to smell it, smell it. So, people who have tried my way of making fried rice will attest to the fact that ginger is everything. So, next time you make fried rice, even if you don't follow my steps, just add a few, a little bit of uh, grated ginger, and let me know. <laughs>